Hey everybody, today is July 14th, 2024. Just feeling really led in the spirit to reshare some things. Here we go. Hey brothers and sisters, today is September 9th, 2020. And I just wanted to share some things with you guys. So a long time ago, I shared an audible that I received from the Lord. And what happened was I'm a massage therapist and I was working on my neighbor, Lisa. And I had a couple little votive candles burning in the massage room. And then suddenly I heard a very loud voice say out loud, 715. And it was, there was this, it was very powerful, like an urgency. And then one of the candles blew out by itself immediately after I heard that. And it kept smoking for about 10 minutes. And I looked at the wick on the candle and it looked totally normal. And I couldn't figure out logically why the candle wick would be smoking for 10 minutes. It was really strange. And I've only had a few audibles from the Lord. And the other audible that I heard was Joseph. And I know in the spirit that it was the Joseph that was sold into slavery by his brothers. But the Lord used Joseph in Egypt. And Joseph interpreted the Pharaoh's dream to be a warning of seven years of famine. And he advised Pharaoh to store, to store a surplus of grain. And when the seven years of famine began, there was enough food to bring the nation through the famine. So... About 11 months ago, I shared a dream I had, and I'm just going to play it again for you guys. So here we go. I saw Trump and his daughter, Ivanka. Then I saw a calendar, but not the month. I just saw the dates, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Everyone thought that Ivanka's birthday was over, but then Trump started counting out loud while looking at the dates I saw on the calendar. 15, 16, 17, 18, and then he said extra loudly, 19. And then as I was waking up from this dream, I heard in my spirit, keep your eyes on Trump. And right when I woke up, I looked at the clock that was right next to me, and it said 7.15. I've shared this uh, video clip or audio clip a while back on my channel. Nineteen heart, nineteen. And Skylar says, "Kiri, Kiri," which is Greek and means Lord. And then the voice says again, "Nineteen hurt." Sounds like Skylar's blowing a trumpet.
I just felt led to share all that with you guys. Believe on Jesus today. God sent his only begotten son to die for the sins of the entire world. And all you have to do is believe in the one whom he sent. He died in your place was buried and rose again on the third day so you can be justified before the Lord. So when the Lord looks at you after you believe in his son, he sees you as holy and blameless because you're covered in his son's blood. Unless you become like one of these little children, surely I tell you, you will not enter the kingdom. We're saved by grace through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's a free gift of God that you can't earn. And none of us deserve it. But he did it all for the glory of love. Love you guys. I'm fast. <laughs>